Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Old Car Guy and on this episode I think we're going to do a little bit of cleanup in the garage so that we can get ready to get the old Chrysler outside because we're going to do some work on it right after this. <laughs> first things that we've got to do is we've got to get rid of this garbage can that's full of garbage, the box that's full of garbage, and this tote that's full of garbage. And we'll have to take those out of the shop. So we're going to start by cleaning up some garbage, cardboard, all that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll do that to some music. So there we have a bunch of garbage that we've collected. We've got the garbage can empty. We've got to do something with that light bulb. And we've got our tote empty. So now we've got to get this bin of metal taken out to the shop because we've got a metal recycling bin out there. We've got a dumpster out there as well. And we'll load up all this excess cardboard from all the parts that we put on Project Dale. So we'll get the car loaded up with all the garbage and then we'll take that out there at a later time and then we'll show you what we're going to be doing on the old Cordoba. Maybe even get a cold start in this video. Okay, so we've got the bench cleaned off over here. We've got the garbage all taken out and we've also got some space beside the car all cleared away. All we've got to do now is move the fridge and a couple of totes out of the way and some boards that are leaning up against the back bumper over here and we'll be able to move the car out of this spot and get it over here so we can get the doors open and start working away. So. Basically what the plan is for this car, and I'm not sure how far we'll get today, is to get these Hyundai Tiburon seats out of the car, as well as the original back seat, and make room for these front seats out of a Ford Fusion, and the back seats that match it out of a Ford Fusion. The plan was to make sure that we had a matching set of seats front and rear, and something that was more comfortable to get in and out of in the front. So those Tiburon seats are great seats, they're comfortable while you're in them, but because of such high bolstered seats on the thigh, makes it hard for climbing in and out. So we're going to have to manufacture the seat rails off of this and get them to fit onto this. So we'll start taking some measurements once we get back from taking that load of garbage out to the shop. So with the magic of YouTube, we'll see you in just a minute. And just like that, we are back from taking all that garbage out to the shop and getting rid of it in the dumpster. So what we've got to do now is we've got to take the jack, jack up the rear end of the car, pull the car this way so I can back it out the garage door. Whew. And I've got everything kind of cleaned up behind the car as well. That's why I'm a little bit out of breath. So let's get this thing jacked up and move it away. Okay, let's see if she'll start.
Well, there you go. We got to move from here to here. It didn't even stall once and I didn't hit anything. Another bonus is there's no leaks on the ground. So what we're going to do is get this all swept up and cleaned up so that when we bring Dale home, we'll have a spot for him to park. There we go, low idle. She's chopping up a bit. And just so you guys know, this is the same cam spec on the Chrysler here that I'm gonna be putting on Dale. So Dale should have a pretty good chop too. Okay, so we're back out here in the shop on the next day and the object is going to be to get the seats out of the car and mock up the seats in the back to see what we've got to do to make those work. So there's four half inch nuts that hold the seat in on the bottom. Let's get under and I'll show you where they are. Okay, so this is the front one. There's another one over there. And there's one here and another one back. There's another one over there in that little cubby. So what we're going to do is we're going to get those loosened up and we can pull the seat out on the passenger side. We'll do the same on the drivers. So now that we've got those bolts out, the seat should just pull right out. Now we'll go over and do the same on the driver's side. Now you can see the brackets that we had to make off of the original assembly. One thing about the passenger side is that we found it sat way too high, but it's because of the way the seat is made. But we're gonna have to make some brackets up using some of this hardware here to uh, work on these new seats. Now you'll notice all the junk underneath, all your power seat motors and all that stuff, sits that seat up a little bit higher than what these probably do. So we may end up having to remove some of that stuff to make it work. And now that we've got the front seats out, that gives us easier access to the back. Let's get those ones gone. Okay, so now that we've got those back seats out, you can see all my stereo equipment, kind of uh, old school, sitting there with a single subwoofer, amplifier, a couple of big 6 by 9s in the rear deck. Also, the Dynamat that we put into this uh, car back a while ago. And if you want to see that video of me installing the Dynamat, we're going to put it right up here so you guys can go back and take a look and see how we installed that. We're going to grab the seats out of the Ford Fusion. We're going to set them in here, mock them up, and see what they look like. So there is the setup for the rear seat backs out of a 2012, uh, sorry, 2010 to 2012 Ford Fusion. And the way that these brackets are is they're on a little bit of a hinge, so they don't want to bend up and mount that way because these seats are meant to fold forward and have a little bit of spring action in them. So that's just kind of wedged into place there right now and we're probably a good six inches or more between the back of the seat and the back of the framework of the car. So when we go to set our actual 
seat bottom in place, it wants to butt right up against the back of the armrest, which would protrude into the footwell compartment. No room there. So we're going to have to see what's going to take place to get those brackets either removed and build our own or get them so that we can mount them up on the back side of the back firewall thing there. So having said all of that, looks like we've got some work ahead of us and we're going to have to start doing some uh, geometry here on how we're going to get this to fit in here. So on that note, we're going to end this video and when we come back for the next video in this series, hopefully we'll have an answer to the problem of mounting these seats in the 79 Cordoba. So Ford seats were never meant to fit in here, but we're going to try and make it happen just because I think we can. We've done it before with those Hyundai Tiburon seats, there's no reason why we can't do it now. Car Guy and Six Fan Show guys alternates every week between my channel and Straight Six Fan, Grant Tommy, and we co-host each show every week and back and forth. So if you saw it last week on his channel this week, it will be on mine. Every once in a while we have some special guests and it's just a bunch of car guys talking cars. I hope you can join us Thursday evenings at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 local time and join in with the conversation in the chat and enjoy some of the fun that we have on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.